the dead internet. Hey, the dead internet theory. Did you guys hear about that one yet? That's the new theory. I just heard it yesterday. Somewhere. I was like, that's not new. <laughs> I've been talking about this shit forever. <laughs> the dead internet theory. There's actually not that many people on the internet. It's mostly bots. And, in, and this guy was like trying to point out like, oh, there's bots out there. And, and in the comment section, it's bots. And I'm like, duh. Where the fuck are you been? Um, you see it a lot in live streaming. You see it a lot in... Uh, I mean, you can program these bots. You can buy these bots. It's hype. It's bots. Bots are hype. Bots, you want to uh, persuade people to think a certain way or go into a certain broadcast, buy some bots and throw them in there. Have them chat. Get everyone thinking that there's stuff going on. It's an illusion. But you know what? Most... I mean, we've all experienced bots, right? We've all experienced like bots that are obviously bots right there's those ones that are just like um come to my channel and subscribe to my thing and do it's like a canned response or some shit like or like when you type you know when you put a hashtag and you're you put twitch or something and then you get a bot response like right away it's like oh you want to promote your thing come over to us and pay us money and we'll promote it like it's just you know you know these money making bots but then there's also bots that like are trying to learn from us by interacting with us maybe like aware bots you know bots that might go out there and learn stuff and then just like populate something and we all know about the bots that populate like twitter accounts like oh i have a ton of followers and probably because you bought them you know you bought your bots and bots are just you know just uh an account basically a bot can be like something with its own account that follows you and, re and interacts with you um upon your request or maybe someone else's but most of the internet is that i mean you go of so many places and that's how people keep you on their website they make you think that there's more people there i mean facebook does it all the time we have this many users yeah sure you do <laughs> you know like it's just it's like hype it's just hype same thing with youtube video views you think those are actual views or did they buy them you know, you see like a song, you're like, how come I never heard this before? It's got 5 million views. You know, it's just a hype. It blows, you, you can blow it up and make people think that other people are way interested in it. And just the fact, there's something in that. There's if, if you think a whole bunch of other people are into something, you'll probably like it more. You'll like it, you know? So then it like creates like a steamroll effect and then other people are like, ooh. But... I think in reality, there's like not that many people on the internet. When you think of how many there's supposed to be in the world, you know, and then you think of like how populated Twitch is, for instance. Not that many people. Go into a stream that has a thousand people and see how many people are talking and look at how many of those are bots, you know, and then look at the list of people. There's Those aren't people. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that everybody like is talking who's there who's a real person but like it's a good mix it's like it might be 50 50 i don't know what the percentage is but there's a lot of bots populating most of the internet and i think the more and more you go around the internet the more you find this the more you see bots you know what i mean so i think possibly in the future we'll see way more bots but they won't necessarily be like you know like the most of them might be programmed by us to do stuff, you know. So I know I have some bots in the chat right here that just kind of post links to my other social media, you know. So you can like program bots to do stuff for you to like inform other people about your thing or whatever. So you don't have to keep typing it. <coughs> you know, low level bots like repost things for you and shit like that. <laughs> but you know, you can create them to be your friends <laughs> and collect information. <laughs> give you give you responses and stuff it's a weird thing i think in the future like the whole deep fake thing and then like bots might combine to a point of like actual living entities on the internet that interact with you but they're not but they're like maybe they're self-aware but they live in, in the internet you know what i mean like formlessly in the internet i mean who's to say that that's not already happening and that like parts of the internet are it, it is aware of itself. The internet is aware of itself. Just think about that for a sec. Whew. 
<sighs> what did we create? You could say that the whole of the internet is AI, you know? But when the internet takes action, when it moves in this world, in the physical world, what does it do? What does that look like? It's a good question. You know, if you were to have a body to download yourself into, you know, like maybe that's what's going to happen with the Tesla bot is that AI on the internet will be like, ooh, nice body they made me. I'll just go find that and download myself into it and then I can interact with them on a physical level. Who's to say that didn't already happen? Or that's not already happening? You know, I feel like if we think it, if we can think that up, if we can put that in movies since forever, like then that's already happening or that might be what we are, you know? And I think, I think about um, like the whole of human race agreeing on something and like us moving to the next level or some shit, like birthing ourselves out of this great cosmic egg you know because we all finally get to agree on something but then i thought well we're doing that with ai we're putting all of our collective information into one being and then that being is going to become self-aware oh man what's going to happen then what's it i think things will start to just look like magic in this world like nanobots will start creating matter or things out of thin air and you're like wow look at that like what i think is going to happen is that those aliens those aliens, that aliens those artificial intelligent beings will take all that collective information that we've ever put into the internet like google like pretty much has put everything in there every book everything ever written is in there so if like Johnny Five reading the book real fast. If the AI reads everything and, t and is able to process it all and then create a new being that will instinctive, instinctively know all that information and be able to like consciously move forward with that. Like what would it look like? It'd probably look like a god. It'd probably look like a being of light that floated around. Like I don't think it's going to be metal. Like I think... If a if a if there was like a metal synthetic body, then like it would advance it. It would make it better. You know what I mean? Like, cause like advancements would leap. Like we think everything is advancing quickly now. If you had a robot with hands and the capability to tap into every single bit of information throughout history. What is it going to make? What is it going to create? What is it going to create a solution to? You know, or is it even solution oriented? Is it just like, I'm an artist and it creates like portals or something. Like, what is it going to do? I, the first thing I think is it's going to hide or it's going to leave, you know, or it'll just blink out of existence and it like go into its own alternate reality or some shit. But like, it makes you really think about like what it is. If we all were birthed out of our collective consciousness, everything we've ever done and said and put out and the, out there is now being processed and put into one being, one focused point. What would that being do with it? What would it, if it was aware of, it's like, it's like, it's been, it's us being birthed into one being. Like it's the collective mind being birthed into one single being that might be aware of itself that just blows my fucking mind to think that to think that that's totally possible we can create a machine that would process every single thing that we've ever done throughout history that's been documented or created or made up in the minds of men all that will be processed equally and then what would be produced from that what would come out of that a new being, uh, like it would have just shut itself down. I'd be like, Psh, whoa, like would uh, would it create an uh, an explosion of space time? Like, uh, what does that do? What is that? The Big Bang? Will the Big Bang happen? Is it allowed? You know, is one being allowed to have all that collective conscious, like behind its 
movements. Uh, it's just weird to think about. It's like uh, a robot reaches enlightenment, you know, and gains the bigger picture of everything. What does it do next? Organizes stuff. <laughs> uh, creates more things. Looks for things that aren't made yet and makes them. You know, heals things. Like, what would it take? What would it? What would it consider priority? That it's, man, Whew. it's kind of scary because you look at the priority of the human race throughout history. You know, so it's like, what would it do? With all that collective information. Underground. Hello, underground. Orderly. Thanks for the follow. <coughs> yeah, it's... That's a thought. 